The Clouser Minnow is one of the most versatile and popular streamer patterns for both salt and fresh water. Today, I am tying this in a sexy shad color pattern, which is a very popular and effective crankbait color. I like tying this on a size 2 hook, but it can be tied on sizes from 6 to 3 odd. I am also using a 210 flat waxed thread for its strength and flatness when wrapping. Start your thread near the eye of the hook and wrap roughly a third down from the hook shank. Now we are adding a dumbbell eye to the hook. I like attaching about a quarter to a third down the hook shank. For more tips on tying in dumbbell eyes, click the dumbbell link at the top corner of the video. Always add a drop of super glue to your eyes to hold them in place. I like adding a few strands of 1 16th size flashaboo at this point. Attach in the center clump and fold it over on itself and attach that side in as well. This will hold it in place very securely. Trim, measure, and prepare a clump of white bucktail. You want this clump to be fairly thick and about double the hook shank length. For some helpful tips on preparing bucktail, click the bucktail link at the top of the video. Trim off any bucktail that is hanging over the eye of the hook. Wrap your bucktail in tightly, then wrap over to the other side of the dumbbell eye and tie it in halfway down the hook shank. Bring your thread back to the front of the hook and rotate your fly upside down in the vise. Now we will add a few strands of gold crystal flash in the same manner as the flashaboo. We will want the crystal flash to extend slightly further than our bucktail. We will now measure and prepare a clump of yellow bucktail. Make sure there's only a few strands as we want this to be a thin strip. This time, we want this to extend about three times the hook shank length. Next is a clump of blue bucktail. This one we will want a bit thicker than the yellow clump. This will also be about triple the hook shank in length. Now build up a bit of a taper on the end of the fly and smooth it out with a couple of wraps. Do your best to cover all the bucktail fibers. It helps to untwist your thread counterclockwise Then whip finish your fly carefully with a few wraps. Instead of epoxy or head cement, I like adding UV curing resin to increase the fly's durability. Just place a drop of this stuff on the wraps, then spread it around the entire head with your bodkin. The resin I am using today is made by Solarevs. It is their thin, hard formula. This stuff is really thin and penetrates the thread wraps wonderfully. It only takes a few seconds to cure with your UV curing light, and it cures crystal clear. Shad have a large black dot on their body. So I like to take a black sharpie and draw a large dot on the fly. Make sure to get both sides. And there we have it, a finished sexy shad clouser minnow. As with all clouser minnows, the dumbbell eyes give this fly a jiggy action and will help get it down to where the fish are. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now, go catch some fish.